In this video, you're gonna learn how to fix clipping in your audio recordings. Clipping is what happens when the signal, when your recording goes over the zero decibel mark and it creates this nasty digital distortion that you don't want in your final, uh, your final mixes. I'm gonna show you how to fix them for free in Audacity and I'll also show you how to use Isotope RX to fix your clips too. So firstly, let's take a look at this piece of dialogue uh, that we recorded with some clips in. Hey everyone, Joe here. Today we're going to be learning how to fix clipping in audio. So you can see there's a little clip there. You can see where the, the waveform flattens out there and a lot of clipping here, really harsh. So we're going to highlight the whole thing, Control A and then Command A, and click D clip. So only a couple of options on this um, on this plugin. I'm going to set it to high quality, obviously and you can see where the threshold goes. We want to bring that below uh, the threshold so we're just affecting those clips. Then hit render and as you can see the waveform's no longer flattened out. Let's have a listen back. Hey everyone, Joe here. Today we're going to be learning how to fix clipping in audio recordings. So we don't have that horrible distortion. You can hear the qualities reduced slightly. It's a little bit warbly at the beginning. Hey everyone, Joe here. Today because they were particularly harsh clips. Hopefully when you're fixing your audio, it won't be quite so harsh, just be the odd little um, little one that you can fix without too much trouble. We're gonna be learning how, because it sounds absolutely fine around this area, it's just at the beginning where it's super clipping. But if you don't have RX, it's quite an expensive plugin, um, then you can do it in Audacity as well. So we've got the same piece of audio here, gonna highlight everything again, go to effect, and go to clip fix. Same kind of uh, options here. We don't have the quality option, but the threshold and how much we're gonna reduce the signal by. Let's click okay. You can see the same kind of effect happening. Hey everyone, Joe here. Today we're gonna be learning how to fix clipping in audio recordings. So it's not as harsh. Hey everyone, Joe here. We listen to the original. Hey everyone, Joe here. To it's not as harsh. It hasn't done as an effective job as RX. If you're doing this professionally, I would recommend using RX for this. But if not, and you just want to fix a bad recording, just the odd little clip here and there, then the Audacity Z clip should uh, at least make it listenable. Ideally though, obviously you want to try and avoid clips in the first place. And I'm going to leave a link in the description below to a video that goes over how to set your levels and things to avoid clipping during your recordings. So if you have a copy of RX, then it's clearly the most effective tool here. But even if you don't, Audacity is suitable for fixing minor clipping. Let me know in the comments section below what audio you're working on and hit that subscribe button because I'll, be, uh, I'll be dropping more of these audio fixing videos in the coming weeks. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.